Yo, what's up? It's like you TCG, and today we're gonna be doing a matchup with our Alola Duck Trio deck, which is pretty interesting. I pretty like it. Like a, a cheap deck that if you would want to build. So let's get started, and we do start off with a mulligan, which is fine. We do have a lot of way to get our metal energy, um, which our energy we cheap for, our mount cornet and stuff like that. So let's see. It looks like we're fighting a click our face in a fighting deck, and we start off with a star you. All right. So we start off with the story and we have a Cynthia which is pretty good. I mean we do need some alone and diglets down and we got one so that's pretty nice. And we can pass it there, we don't need to retreat right now. We just need to focus on getting maybe um, more alone the trios and another Lele so we can use Bridget. But that's about it. It looks like he's tossing out a sycamore and a fighting energy to get a buzz roll. It looks like we're pretty good. Buzz roll now. Mew can be handy in this. I haven't seen people use Mew in this yet. So he needs a DCE. Fight a fairy bell on the. Oh, in the past. And that's pretty sweet. We do have Mark Cornet. We can put that there. Retreat. And we can do Iron Head. Let's see how many. Ah, That's one Tails. That's fine. This is more of a fun deck than any other thing. I know uh, we haven't deck profiled much decks in the Ultra Prism, but we deck profile quite a bit trying to do all the decks to deck profile. But I know we haven't do Glaceon, we haven't do Garchomp. I think we did Garchomp. That is, that is indeed a knockout. I'm going to be doing three games. And yeah. We're going to concede there. I'm not really sure what the um, deck list is for this deck. So I just made it my own. But um, next time I will go over like a really popular um, version of this deck. But I think this is okay for now. So it looks like we're facing some type of electric. I didn't really see the, um, didn't really see it, but it looks like we're facing some type of Takapu Coco deck, I think. I mean, he does have Tapu Coco sleeves and deck box, so I'm guessing there's a Tapu Coco deck, but we'll see. I don't know, it looks like we're facing an Espeon card. A very energy. Interesting. So putting Garbroder into a Sylveon deck with Garbroder with shut off energies. I mean, shut off abilities. But we don't have our abilities to set for Space Beacon. And that is perfectly fine. He did get a Cynthia. And that is a pretty scary bench. So we are gonna have um Wow, we really did prize to Star use, so that's pretty interesting. So, we do have an advantage though, so that's good, and we can just pass it there, because we don't really 
have alone in the trio we can also both for a Lele and then Cynthia and we don't really use any items in here either so trash last Garbodor is not really gonna do anything yeah and that will be a knockout That's the only issue with this deck, that the HP is really, really low. I don't know why they did that, but it's really low. Uh, we can get rid of a energy retrieval and a metal energy. I think that may be fine. Getting a... Get a top of Lele. Put that down, and we can get a Cynthia here. And we do get there, we do have an Alondra Trier, and we can knock out this. Now how many do we need is the question. So we are good. It says discard any number of metal energy in hand to start the 30 times damage of each card you discard this way. So 30, 60, 70, 80. Does this do all? Just want to make sure. So that was 300. So I guess we can technically do three. Yeah, this would be an easy win. Because you gotta put a very energy and a DCE. And that is perfectly fine by me. He did put down a pearl of city. Can two entities do that? That's 360 and 160. Oh. I think we need more than that. So we're just gonna stick them more. Ouch. So we're just gonna see how much one does. And I guess, I guess we should have done three, because that would have knocked the thing out. We do see an energy going onto the trash lance. And that's perfectly fine, he doesn't get rid of some toy span, and he is going to do... It looks like he's going to do a lot of damage with this trash lance. So we're gonna stick them more here. We don't really need any of these cards. We're just looking for a way to get energy back. And we do have ways to get energy back as well. And we are going to gold rush. For the knockout. Now he is going to use N, drawing 4 cards. Maybe he is looking for a rainbow energy. That could be the case. And no, he did not get it. So we are going to get 2 energy from Mount Carnet. We're going to get some energy from the Professor's Letter. And I think that should be enough for a knockout. 
Yeah. And he is gonna give up on that one. So that's pretty cool. We are gonna go um ahead and do one more match. So that's a pretty easy deck. Uh, I don't know what um maybe that was a kinda interesting deck he did. Um trying to use car motor as a attacker. But Sylveon should be used on his own. So it looks like we're facing some type of psychic deck. And it uh, looks like we are facing uh, Sam Many. Alright. But um, let's see who we're facing. Looks like we got a pretty decent hand. We do have a, a Lowland Diglett and a Staria. It looks like our opponent did Mulligan, which is something cool. We can't go for a turn one Bridget as well. I don't know if we're going first or not. Looks like we are facing SP Garb with that secret rare DCE, which is pretty nice. I do think we can add Celestila in here, but I think that'd be a waste because we're not really trying to put energies on Pokemon. We're really just trying to use all, all our energies. So putting in Celestila would be like a waste. So we are indeed going second, and he has an Eevee. That's a good thing we're going second because he can't use Side Beam, which is pretty annoying. Looks like he does not have a Psychic Energy yet. And we see a Cynthia here, but next turn he can go for a Divide GX, which is pretty intimidating. And it looks like it's going to be our turn. We are going to use Bridget to get some Pokemon onto the bench. It looks like we pry the Duck Trio. And we can put a Choice Button here. And we can go ahead and use Iron Head. See how many heads we can get. We got one, we got two, ooh, three, all three heads. Doing 30 damage. That's pretty nice. So it looks like yeah, that is perfectly fine. I mean, we don't need Star You. We just need one Star You. And we'll see, he has a psychic energy. Yes, he does. Will he go for the Divide DX attack? Because he can knock out two Pokemon. So he is going to go for the N. So we got two metal and yeah, he is gonna go for the Divide GX. Probably knocking out a Lone Diglett and a Staryu. Come on, dude, you really gonna go for the Divide GX? Oh, and he has more. <laughs> but we do have Rusty Stretcher to get them back, so it is not a Big deal. So how many energies do we need here? Zero hit and Cynthia. Nice. So we do have a couple of energy retrievals and energies. Can Ultra Ball and get those energies back. And we can go ahead and get a the uh, trio here. A 
and gold rush for those gold locks here. Doing 60 damage. You can use Siving for the knockout. Not doing much. We're doing just enough because um, we only have 60 hit points. Yeah, this is more or less than a fun deck than anything else. I don't think this deck would be any competitive in the meta. So he does put an Ultra Ball, get in a Garboda Track Lance. And full stone on the Espeon, and he's gonna use Garboda for the knockout. So we are gonna use Energy Retrieval, but he does have um, Espeon EX. Oh, we have Tapu Lele, which that's pretty nice. That means we can use Sycamore here to try to get more energies and more um, Professor's Letters and Energy Retrieval. And we have Mount Cornet, which is pretty nice. We can indeed take a knockout here. This is pretty insane. Um, let's Ultra Ball these two. She was on our deck. Um, we pretty much have nothing left but this lone Desio to attack with, but we can just go ahead and Gold Rush for our first prize card. But this is pretty much the game. And we do the indeed get an alone in Diglett. So we see an ultra player going to get his other garb order. I mean if we get a sycamore here. And evolve our Diglett into a Lone Duck Trio, that could be pretty nice. Oh, he does have a Flow Stone though. He wants revenge. He is gonna get a, a knockout here. And he does field blower away our Mount Cornet, which is not good. And we see a trash lance for the knockout. And we're just gonna take a pass here. I mean, there's pretty much nothing we can do. He is gonna do a trash lance for a knockout here. Two, four, six, eight. Eight. This is enough for a knockout. He doesn't really do anything else. So we did win. At least we won against Sylveon. At least we won one match and not won any. That's pretty good. So he does go and put a psychic energy. Go ahead and use Wonder Tag. And here we see a Cynthia. Looks like he's gonna want more cards. I don't know what he's thinking for. But we see him using Cynthia here. And there we go. Trash Lance for the knockout. And that is the Alone the Trio deck, guys. Like I said, this is a fun deck um, to use. It's not really meant to use for competitive play.
I mean, you can use a lead cup just to see how you guys do, but um, yeah, this is the deck. Um, no, that's not where to go. If you guys, um, I'm gonna show you guys the deck list. If you guys um, want to change anything to the deck or um, tell me what you guys don't like about it, let me know in the comment section down below. But like I said, this is there you go. This is the deck profile. Um, we do on four out Diglets, four lone deck trios, two Lele's, two star you the two two line, the four energy retrievals, four letters, um, three more cornets, and other things. That's pretty much the deck right there. So hopefully you guys like um, share this video, comment down below, and it's been lucky some TTG and I'll see you tomorrow in a more competitive deck profile the this is like more of a fun deck than anything else like I said I'll see you guys tomorrow and it's been lucky 7 TTG and I'll see you guys